your book gives you a step-by-step -step procedure for solving uh, equations and uh, this procedure is six steps so I wanted to try one that had most if not all of these steps and all of these steps you're familiar with what we haven't done yet is clear an equation of fractions or decimals if needed we'll try it in a little bit but let's use the, the rest of these steps first this one says if parentheses occur multiply to remove them using the distributive law so clearly I have parentheses on both sides of my equation and I can distribute my 3 to the 7 there and my 3 to the negative 2x there now this 14 minus 8 times a quantity here this 14 doesn't distribute um, however this negative 8 does and that negative 8 I can distribute to the x and to the negative 1 on this side of the equation so the way that works is 3 times 7 is 21 uh, positive times a negative is a negative 6x is equal to 14 just comes straight down negative times a positive is a minus 8x negative times a negative is a positive 8 8 times 1 okay so that's step 2 step 3 says collect like terms on each side of the equation if necessary so on this side I do not have like terms because I have an integer here and uh, a coefficient with a, with a variable there here on the other hand I do and I like to circle my like terms my like terms are this 14 here isn't like with the negative 8x but it is like with the positive 8 here so when I when I collect my like terms as it were um, this negative 8x just stays right where it is in fact everything else is gonna stay just right where it is and 14 plus 8 is well that's uh, 22 is that right? I think it's 22 then it says use the addition principle oh so now I'm at something familiar but I have X's on both sides um, so I can use the addition principle let's move our X's to the left side and our integers to the other side so I'm gonna add 8x to both sides that will get my X's on one side of the equation and I'm going to subtract 21 from both sides because uh, that's a positive 21 and the opposite is to um, subtract that so subtracting 21 from both sides clears the 21 out of there but on this side I have 22 minus 21 and that's a positive 1 uh, adding 8x to both sides clears the 8x's out of there and on this side I have negative 6 plus 8 if I owe you uh, six dollars and I have 8 to cover then I have two dollars left over now I can I've collected the like term let's say I've used the addition principle um, I don't have like terms on both sides so now I can use the multiplication principle so let's go ahead and divide that by two and divide that by two now and remember dividing by two is the same thing as multiplying by one half I multiply I multiply by the reciprocal of 2 which is 1 half those two is in effect cancel and I'm left with x is equal to 1 times 1 half which is just 1 half let's do a quick one we'll do a smaller one not as many steps hopefully but one that does involve clearing the equation of a fraction this equation here has fractions it has uh, 3 16 x plus 1 half is equal to, to 11 over 8 so in order to clear the fractions what I have to do is find the least common denominator between 16 2 and 8 so factors of 2 are 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 and 16 um, okay so um, oh here's something cool 16 is a factor of 2 I mean a, a multiple of 2 and there's 16 right there well 16 is also a multiple of 8. 8 and then the very next one is 16. Um, so cool. I actually found my least common denominator. Now what I want to do is multiply both sides of this equation by 16. And a neat thing happens. The reason we multiply 16 is because this 16 will uh, be divide out to 1 with that 16 there. And that will give me 3x all by its little lonesome. 
and then the 16 here will divide out with this 2 here and that will leave me with 8. So 8 times 1 is a positive 8. So it's 3x plus 8 and that's equal to this 16 here divides out with this 8 here uh, and it divides 2 times. So that means that 2 times 11 is 22. So now I have something that I can deal with, something I'm familiar with the first thing I do. The next thing I do is I don't have any, that cleared the parentheses for me. I didn't have any like terms. Now I'll use the addition principle. So here's the addition principle in practice. Those cancel out to zero. I have 3x is equal to 14. Is that right? Then I divide both sides by 3. And so x is equal to 14 thirds. All done.